In this busy shopping area in southeast Edmonton, disbelief and grief. Two people gunned down in the middle of the day. One, a boy, just 11 years old. It's upsetting for me to be here today to confirm the death of a child following a shooting event. Police say he was at this gas station with his father, 41-year-old Harpreet Uppel, who they considered a high-ranking gang member. Court records show he was out on bail for drug charges. Police say Uppel was followed and gunned down, and his son was deliberately killed too. Once the shooter or the shooters learned that the son was there, they intentionally killed him, shot and killed him. So he was not caught in a crossfire or killed by mistake intended to kill him. Another child, the boy's friend, was with them, but managed to escape physically unharmed. People here say they're shocked at the violence towards a child. He's not even in his prime of his life yet, and this happens to him. Because I got grandchildren a little bit older than that, and it's still sad for this to happen. Police are investigating whether a burnt-out car south of the city was related to the killings. They're still working on a motive, but it isn't the first attempt on Uppel's life. He and his family were shot at in an Edmonton restaurant two years ago. Uppel was injured. Police say they've seen a rise in violent shootings, many brazen and putting bystanders at risk, like this baby in a stroller. Especially concerning, no one appears to be off limits. There's no longer any respect for children, families, innocent citizens amongst our rival organized crime groups, our gangsters, when they carry out violence to further their own interests. For some, safety is now their number one concern. Just avoiding different parts of town, um, not going out like late at night. Julia, the, the police news conference this morning was quite notable. There was a, an unusual amount of detail and candor. Yeah, Ian, you could hear the frustration and emotion in the acting superintendent's voice when it came to this incident and others we've seen in the city. He warned people to avoid trouble, like arguments with strangers or anything that could possibly escalate, because there's no way of knowing where it could go. Julia Wong, just outside the scene of the shooting in Edmonton.